It is no secret that we are extremely hard on axle shafts. The thing is, these Toyota Burfield ends are extremely weak in stock form. The good news is, there's upgrades. Brought to you in part by Alpine Toyota. Guess what? We're finally listening to you guys and putting something in the truck that you guys have been uh, hounding us to do forever. RCVs. Corey picked up a set of RCVs for his blue 3RZ swapped Toyota pickup. But before we toss them in, let's take a look at what exactly makes them better. Here's a bit of a comparison between the RCV that we're putting in the truck, the 27 spline Cromali and from trail gear that used to be in the truck and a stock one. Unfortunately, I've only got a blown up stock one, but you get a pretty good idea. Look how thin the edge of the cups are on the stock one versus the trail gear one versus the RCV. As you can see, it just gets beefier down the line. But one of the big differences between this RCV and this 27 spline Cromali end is look how thin the shaft is. This necks down the 27 spline to go inside the burr field, whereas on the new RCV shaft, it actually doesn't neck down going into the burr field. It stays 30 spline all the way through. And not only is the shaft itself upgraded from 27 spline to 30, it also is now entirely chromoly. Whereas before, just the ends he was running is chromoly. All this coupled with an advertised, no questions asked, lifetime warranty, the shafts are really just a no brainer. So. Let's throw them in the truck. So another thing that came with Corey's specific RCV set is these chromoly hub inserts, these 30 spline inserts. Compared to the stock one, which we actually noticed after, like just now, that is half broken, that's what it looks like. It's got a bit of a thicker ring and just a slightly more beefy, and it came with the kit, so why not throw it in? All right, next up on the agenda, Corey's truck is getting some uh, brand new Toyo MTs on the rear. So because of his spool, he tends to wear these tires down a lot quicker than you normally would. So yeah, throwing those on and then he'll be good to go wheeling again. that about wraps up this week's episode of Dirt Garage. I hope you enjoyed it. It's just a quick little and much needed upgrade video and hopefully soon I can get a set of those RCVs for my own pickup. If you guys could do me a favor and smash that thumbs up button, that would be greatly appreciated. And hey, if you don't mind, consider subscribing. We are so close to 20,000 subscribers if we haven't hit it already by the time this video goes live. And uh, hey, I'll see you next week. Peace. Let's go.
I'ma make a couple stacks, do exactly what I want to. Mix a couple tracks, get a lady that I'm drawn to. Turn up to the max, get me faded till I'm gone, dude. I do what I want, couldn't stop me if you wanted to. I just work hard, yeah, harder than the rest. Some people say I'm lucky, others say I'm